man. Errol Spence saying that, you know, he can box with Terrence Crawford if need be. Let's talk about that on the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next crowd button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live or drop a video. He said that on the uh, Brian Custer Lab Stand podcast. He did. Um, obviously, he's starting to make waves. He keeping the fight relevant right now in the beginning. Before the press tour kicked off, it was it was Terrence Crawford kind of carrying the weight. Um, right now, uh, Errol Spence is the sound clip that keeps giving. Um, you know, now you got people perpetuating his uh, top ranked Toby. Um, well, basically said calling him. Well, yeah, basically calling him top ranked Toby, calling him Kunta Kente on men dollars worth the game. Now, he tried to hold back. I heard people say, well, I'll give him credit for trying. No, 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 no. He said what he said. And as a man, you got to stand on that. And that's why he said it. And like I told y'all, you know, and I might talk about this live Wednesday because you might see this Thursday, depending on how I want to upload these videos. Right? Um, you know, but I said this Thursday, bro. Uh, I'm going to say this Friday. I'm going to say this Wednesday night. Um, that... You know, they they perpetuate that stuff, bro. A lot of that stuff that 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 people blame on Errol, Errol uh, on, on Errol sexuals, Earl Smith and Derrick James, and P, a lot of people up for PBC, they started it. All they doing is bouncing energy back and forth. But nonetheless, let's get into the uh, particulars. He Smith feels he can box with uh, box with Crawford if need be. Any post to feel like that? You know, is it a reality? It could be. It could be. I don't really go with conventional wisdom in boxing no more because, well, just in general, I mean, anything can happen on any given night. Crawford is 35, about to be 36. So is them legs, them limbs <clears throat> still the same? No matter how clean of a lifestyle you live, it don't mean you're going to be cream up, do it, Jabbar and LeBron James. Genetics got a lot to do that will go into that. You know, and I ain't arguing with nobody over this fight no more. It's just, it's it's pointless. I think I might do a film breakdown in a week, um, live on Instagram or whatever, or I'll try to download it and put it as part of the membership. So people who's a member, you can just watch the breakdown again. If you don't catch it on what I got on Instagram, <clears throat> you just gonna have to pay for the membership on YouTube. Well, let's get into it. Check out the boxing news, what's away playlist. Brian Custer, there was some people that say that man, Errol Spence versus the Crawford versus Tilly's counter punches at blessings will be too much for Errol Spence. What do you say about that, Brian? Um, uh, say Brian Custer. Errol Spence said, you know, with me, my style, uh, nothing gets to me. I feel like my skill set, my ability, and I just keep coming. Not only just coming, but I'm a guy that can change it up. I'm a guy that can do uh, do different things. And I believe him. But people say, well, he boxed Mikey Garcia. Well, at the end of the day, dude, a little fun fact. Mikey Garcia, you know, maybe Emmanuel Lartley, but on the true on the true, punt, uh, you know, on the true prize fighter scale, Mikey Garcia is the biggest puncher he ever fought. Now that being said, Mikey Garcia is probably, if you put him in this in this class right now, just in this division, he probably a top five puncher. Maybe even you can make a case of top three or four puncher. Like just off straight of punching ability and natural punching ability. And that's what people don't talk about. That's why I say I don't really listen to what people say. I take it into consideration. But I listen to my I, I listen to my eyes. I let my I mean, yeah, I listen to my eyes. That might sound funny, but I just go off what my eyes tell me. And what my eyes told me was, after a while sitting back thinking about it, what it told me was he he had to box Mikey Garcia because he 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 boxed Mikey Garcia like that because he had to respect Mikey Garcia punching power. That's why he boxed Mikey Garcia like that. He had to respect Mikey Garcia's punching power. And that's why he didn't really take no chances versus Mikey. He threw a lot of punches. But he didn't, he didn't, he didn't take his chance. And what be killing me is any excuse he threw out here, his fans take it. Well, I was just showing my boxing ability. No, you don't go in there to go overtime with no lightweight. He was cognitive of Mikey Garcia's ability to knock his ass out. I'm telling you what it was. That's why he fought like that. I don't blame him. That motherfucker hit Jesse Vargas with one punch and that fight changed. He said, I didn't become an Olympian. I, I didn't just beat all these great uh, these great amateur guys or 
pro guys by just having at one attribute. I just come forward, throw punches, and just able to take a punch. He said, I'm I'm a guy who can shift uh who can shift up, do the different things, have defense and switch back from offense to defense. I could break a guy down, I could box too. I just don't do I do things subtly. subtly. <laughs> And, you know, I think he does do things that I think people uh, with a naked eye can't really, uh, like, really pick up. He makes certain adjustments, um, so I will give him that. And, you know, he's Olympian, so he can box. He said, I don't feel like it's necessary what uh, that I got to move and do all those different things that they do. I feel like that wastes energy. I ain't got time for all that. So at the end of the day <laughs> – Saying that, you know, I ain't wasting energy like that. You know, people got to understand, man. People say, well, Earl Spence gets stronger as the fight goes. So do fucking Terrence Crawford. That's why Terrence Crawford get knockouts late. That's what people don't understand. People say, well, Earl Spence, you know, he gets stronger as the fight goes. Then why the fuck he stop knocking motherfuckers out then? It's all about how you pace yourself. That's what it's about. Errol Spence don't is very efficient. He don't waste no unnecessary no an unnecessary energy. Crawford got knockouts in his last fight: six rounds, tenth, fourth, ninth, six, twelve, nine, three, um, ten, eight. So those are all knockouts in a row. So he got knockouts in the championship rounds. He got knockouts in the middle rounds. He got knockouts earlier, early. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, he knocked the motherfuckers out because he's a nutrition fighter. And then what people do is move the, the goalposts. Well, you know, he ain't had no nutrition fight at, at Welterweight. What the fuck are you talking about? Every from Sean Porter fights nutrition fight. It ain't his fault that Sean Porter didn't make it later than what he did. He stopped Sean Porter. That's why I'll be listening to dudes and I'll be like, all right, bro, it's no point in going back and forth because they're going to have to prove it July 29th. It don't matter what I say or they say, but I do think Errol Spence can box. Now, can he box with Terrence Crawford? That's the question. He got a lot of fucking flaws, bro. People say, well, you know, Crawford got a lot of fundamental flaws. So did Pernell Whitaker. He was offensive as fuck. That's why Pernell was always getting dropped. When you when you offensive and you take chances, you gonna, you going to open yourself up to get clicked. That's just what it is. That's why Earl Spence got clipped by Ugas. He opened up versus Ugas because he didn't respect Ugas, and he found out real quick that he had to respect Ugas. You know? And he can open up against guys like that because there's no fear of punishment coming back. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. He ain't fought no puncher. The best puncher he fought is Mikey Garcia and Emmanuel Larry. You know what I'm saying? And then also when you factor in the fact that Mikey Garcia was, was stubby, and couldn't get from point A to point C. That's a different ball game. We just talking about power. We talking, you know, we ain't talking about placement, counter punching. Mikey Garcia wasn't willing to take a chance to get on the inside to give it. And I don't blame him. This dude ain't fought no puncher, bro. I'm telling y'all. Let alone fought a dangerous southpaw. That's part of PBC matchmaking. And if Terrence Crawford, you know, really want to box and not get touched, he can do it. We've seen him do it. Maybe not at welterweight. He's been more, you know, more a little bit more um, flat-footed and stuff. But we know he can stick and move. But would it surprise me if Earl Smith went out there and not boxed Terrence Crawford? No, it would not surprise me. No too much surprise you in boxing no more when you see people getting slapped at the way and you see in parachute men flying to the ring. You know what I'm saying? You see Ishmael Barrows just get stopped for no reason. You see the bullshit stoppage against J-Rock. Don't nothing surprise you no more. You see Canelo get slapped on the wrist for Pidge. You see Manny Pacquiao. You know, people get mad when you accuse Manny Pacquiao of being on that shit, even though he had that email Teddy Alice revealed on ESPN Friday Night Fights. So don't don't too much of that, like, really surprise me no more. It don't. It don't. Earl Spence is terrific. He right. How the fuck I'm gonna be an Olympian? I'm gonna be an Olympian, and you think I can't box? He sure can. And it wouldn't surprise me. I'm telling you, man. I've seen a lot of things in boxing, and 
what makes what makes me so he- you know hesitant to say, oh, there's no way Euro can win. Yeah, after that Ugas fight, I think so. His punch of fight, you know, that fight convinced me that he was, you know, he was, you know, he he was back physically. And I'm not talking about from the from the accident. I'm not talking about from the accident. I'm talking about like even before the accident, he wasn't his punches wasn't snapping like it was for Ugas. Now, did he load up on some shots versus Ugas? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. But then again, his punches weren't snapping like that before. He punched a lot harder since bringing D-Clan Welsh in. Um, you know. And he does some things in there to the naked eye where people go, like, okay. But it, there are some fun, a lot of fundamental flaws. There's more fundamental flaws in his game than it is a Tennis Crawford game. But like I said, what it's going to come down to is who can take each other punch. Once, the, once that's figured out, you know, once that's figured out, then the fight, the fight will actually start. And we go, and, and I'll tell you the first thing to look for other than that. And I'm, I'm going to get off to the next one. The first thing to look for other than that is to see how Errol Spence come out. And see how they both come out. I'll give y'all that. And you'll probably be like, what you mean, see how they both come out? Well... If Earl Spence truly don't respect Terrence Crawford as a fighter, his resume for real, like he really saying, one minute he say respect him, next minute he don't, he don't, he don't say he don't say respect him. But if he really don't respect Terrence Crawford's resume, he gonna walk, he gonna come out and go right to Terrence Crawford. There ain't gonna be no feeling out. He just gonna walk in and punch him in the mouth and just jump right on him, which I would prescribe he do. All the fighter do it, and Terrence Crawford, how he come out. Is also uh, gonna be indicative to do he believe he can win a decision or not in Las Vegas. So, like I said before, you see some people say, "Well, Crawford got to win it early." Crawford got stoppages late. What are we talking about? Errol Spence is the one that's fading in fights, but I'm, I'm not gonna get y'all too much. So, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, the subscribe button, hit the bell icon button, hit all notification, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video financially. Want to support the channel? Cash App, Dollar Sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree, find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Appreciate the love and support.